Hi, everyone. Welcome to our session on Exploring Concept Map, a visual way of searching topics using the new EBSCO Discovery Service. My name is Ryan Salas, and I am a training specialist for the region of Southeast Asia. The Concept Map feature can be accessed on the new EBSCO Discovery Service. Now, the EBSCO Discovery Service, also referred to as EDS, is a discovery layer that is designed to provide access to your library's electronic and print collection through a single interface. In a nutshell, the EDS is a single search box that allows you to simultaneously search across your library's databases, your catalogs, journals, magazines, institutional repositories, and so on. To provide additional context, you can think of the EDS as the Google for Libraries, but it has more authoritative content and credible sources of information. And the concept map is a new feature on the new EBSCO Discovery Service user interface. The primary purpose of concept map is to enable users to interactively and visually explore related concepts to construct effective EDS search queries, yielding relevant specific EDS results. This new feature provides users with a more visual and interactive approach to explore topics using artificial intelligence. And it uses Knowledge Graph, and the EBSCO Knowledge Graph is the large data set comprised of EBSCO subject vocabularies, all EBSCO partner vocabularies, reputable link open data sources, and natural language equivalencies. These vocabularies, otherwise known as subject authorities, have different names for the same concepts. Moreover, the knowledge graph combines synonyms and unites them under single concepts. And the main data source of the concept map circles are the vocabularies in EBSCO subject indexing. Let's now dive deeper into the concept map and see how the feature looks like in the live environment. And we're going to start by using our search example that we all love, and this is coffee. And to access the concept map, we must first log in to our EBSCO Discovery Service. And this is the main landing page of the new EBSCO Discovery Service. So from here, we would go to the left-hand side of the screen and access the concept map on the research tools. And because concept map opens into a new browser window or tab, you may need to disable your browser's pop-up blocker to open the concept map. And here is the landing page of the concept map. To begin our search, we're going to type in our keyword coffee. Now notice when I type in my keywords, the system is recommending terms related to my keyword. And it also has brief description, which you can review prior to selecting the keyword. And once you select a keyword, it will take you to the results screen. And by default, we're seeing the results in grid view. And here is our keyword, which is coffee. And underneath that, you have a brief description and you can also view the domain and its class. You can also use the group by dropdown and select whether you want to group your topics by relationships or by domains. You can use the relationships to view other topics related to your main topic based on their relationship. While the domains enables you to display topics by discipline. So for example, we're currently searching coffee and if I group this by domains, it would enable me to filter topics by food and drink, biology, business, economics, and finance, and so on. Now, you can also click on the gear icon. And before I click on the gear icon, I'm going to select relationships. Now, if I click on the gear icon, this will allow me to change the language of the topics. To translate the language, just click on the language drop down and select your preferred language. You can also see the browse history if you scroll a bit further. So you have the browse history there. 
And you can also change the relationship using the gear icon. If you click on the uh, drop down here, you can select as kind. And if I click on has kind, it's going to show us different kinds of coffee. So we have decaf, drip coffee, and so on. You can also scroll through the list. So I'm just going to select all. And if we go back to the results, you can also scroll through the list and click on explore concept. So if I click on explore concept, it's going to display a different main concept in the grid view and you have here decaf so you can view all the subjects related to the new research focus and by using the concept map you can also build a multi-layered search and combine topics now to do this you just have to click on the add to search button and you can continue to add more topics to the search builder now, as you add topics, you can click on content preview to see a preview of your search results. And when you are finished adding topics to the builder, just click on see full results to execute a search for your terms on EDS. Now, let's go ahead and add more terms. Now, if you want to uh, explore cost coffee again, just click on explore concept. And then you can add this to your search. Now I'm going to add another keyword here. And I'm going to select hot beverage. So again, I'm going to click on add to search. And you can now click on the Boolean operator in the search builder to change it. So for example, you can click on the end Boolean operator to change this to OR. Now once you click on the see full results it's going to redirect us to eds and the results will be displayed on eds now if i click on this it's going to take us back to ebsco discovery service and we have here eleven thousand and nine hundred fifty five results if you scroll through the list you have here decaf the word coffee and so on now, apart from viewing the results in Grid View, you can also view the results in Map View. So you can view topics in the map format. If I'm going to click on the map button, it's going to rearrange the results and it's going to show us the results in a web-like structure. I'm just going to quickly zoom in. Now, in the middle, you have here your main topic which is coffee and again you can navigate the concept map by clicking or dragging the pointer around to move the topics around the map you can again click on the topic to view more information about this and you can click on add to search in the window if you want to add this to your search builder so i'm just going to deselect my keywords here and I'm going to add coffee pot. Now you can continue to add more topics to the search builder and as you add topics you can click on so I'm just going to select Costa coffee and add this to my search and as mentioned you can click on content preview to see a preview of your search results. So we have 15,033 results. And as you navigate in the concept map, you can go to the center at the bottom to return to the main concept or to the center of the map. So if I click on go to center, it's going to uh, go back to the, uh, or it's going to allow us to view the results in center. Now, when you're finished adding topics to the builder, you can uh, click on see full results to execute the search for your terms on EDS. And your results are displayed on EDS and your search terms populate the search box. Now that concludes our session for today. And if you have any questions in the future, 
please feel free to contact me at ryansalas at absico.com. Bye for now.